Lynn Haven has made progress with choosing contractors to repair local parks. The city also approved a roadway project expected to fix roads damaged by Hurricane Michael at no cost to the city. News 13's Faith Graham spoke with elected leaders who say they're excited for these projects to begin. Lynn Haven City Commissioners agreed on a contractor to fix Kane Griffin Park. The city decided to move forward with GAC as long as both parties can agree on a lower price. The representative from GAC is going to work with our city representatives and try to do some value added engineering and bring that cost down because our goal for that park is around two million and the low bid was well over five. GAC was also chosen to repair Kinsall Park. Um, the large grassy space there was where uh, debris was stored uh, during the storm by our two major haulers. And so with the pine rosin that would seep into the soil, all that has to be dug out, an irrigation system put in. Both bids for the parks are contingent upon city engineers' recommendations and negotiated prices. We need a good park, but we also need to be mindful of the money that we spend because this is these are tax payers dollars. City commissioners also approved a roadway project brought forth by Panhandle Engineering. The organization secured a $1 million grant from the state to repave roads damaged by the storm. And these are several streets in Lynn Haven running from State Road 77, including uh, some parts of 5th Street, um, some parts of 11th Street. The roadway construction is expected to begin immediately. For News 13, Faith Graham, Panhandle Strong.